Shad Tutton figured he'd locked up his PGA Tour card for the first time. Despite a closing bogey Sunday at the Corn Ferry Tour Championship, the 31-year-old Tutton was projected to finish number 30 in points just inside the cutoff for players graduating to the big tour. But the tape told a different story. Upon arriving in the scoring area, Tootin was notified by a rules official that television cameras had shown him improperly applying the lift, clean, and place rule in the 15th fairway. Tootin's initially lifted his ball, cleaned it, and placed it, only to have the ball roll forward. As Jim Duncan, the KFT's vice president of competition and administration, explained, Tootin then should have tried to replace the ball on the exact spot as the previous placement. And then if the ball moved again, he could place it at a near point. Tootin, however, skipped that second step. When he did not try and replace that ball right back on the same spot, that's when he got two shots for playing from the wrong place, Duncan said. The two-shot penalty gave Tootin a bogey at the par-5 hole and a 4-over-76 for his round, dropping him to tied 28 on the leaderboard and a final position of number 32 in points after he began the week at number 29. Tootin has still never teed it up in a PGA Tour event. Tootin's misfortune allowed Rafa Campos, who missed a short punt on his final hole earlier in the day, to end up number 30 in points. Horrible. An emotional Campos. Number 23 to start the week described afterward when asked about the nerve-wracking weight. I'm just really happy I was able to finish in the position I'm in right now, added Campos, who played as a rookie on the PGA Tour in 2020-2021. Tootin later replied to a social post about Campos. Even better when he gets his card because of fluke ruling. Paul Barjan won the event at Victoria National a jump from number 45 to 8th in points. Mac Meisner, Wilson Furr, John Teeter, and Roger Sloan were the other players to play their way inside the top 30 this week. Furr rallied for par from an adjacent fairway at number 18. Teeter played his last five holes in one under. Sloan canned a 12-footer for par on his final hole. What do you think about this? You know, is this fair to this guy? I mean, those are the rules, right? The, the, the rules are in place so that people aren't able to cheat. And this guy wasn't cheating, but he didn't clarify and he didn't clear up when the ball moved, which ended up costing him a lot, which just goes to show that in golf, you never give up because it's always just one stroke that makes the difference. So, uh, yeah, good luck to Campos and good luck also to Tootin, which we'll learn from this. Oh yeah, my amigos, are the rules too fickle? Let me know down below.